This is your part modeling CSWS sample exam question. See here all dimensions are mentioned. 20 A, B, C, these are the equations we have to apply. Now here are all dimensions 7 by 45 degree at all corner. This corner 45 by 5 degree. Then these radius are lies on this point. Then here we have tangent faces. Then there is a circle 14 millimeter diameter and the distance 14 by 14, 32. And these all dimensions just note down and we will do it. And if you come down, the units are in millimeter, decimal place 2, arbitrary origin. Then uh, material 1020 steel. This is density of this. And this is the equation 81, 57, 43. This is going to be applied. And any these are the masses of the body. So let's apply. So first I am going to apply, go to tool, equation and I will apply global variable. So let us say press A tab and the first dimension going to be here is 81 press tab key, press B tab and here put the dimension of B it is 57 tab key again tab C press tab and here the third dimension 43 tab and say ok. Now these equations we are created. Now let us start with front plane sketch. Now we will create half by half or even though we can directly let us say create any dimension. Or let's start with line. Activate line tool. Now here we have to go and start something from bottom face. Go back to the point and it's escape key to out. Let's fire apply those all dimensions. Or let's continue. Three point arc again activate line tool. This is going to be tangent, so that is the thing. connect with this, go back to the point and see it, it will automatically convert into arc. Now here again go back to the point and it is going to convert into arc. Okay. This is a kind of shape what we like to keep. Let us create few important relation. Okay. Now activate smart dimension, let us apply these dimensions. Now here let us say equal to A or even though if you see global variable A say ok. Then the distance from here to here it is going to be equal to B look this is going to be the dimension twenty nine millimeter twenty four millimeter this is also going to be 29 millimeter, 19 millimeter, perfect. And this end going from this end 14 millimeter. Now let us say angle 
10 degree. Now, here we will fix one, one more thing. This point lies on this coincide, that is it. Now, the center distance goes 32 millimeter. Okay, let us move little out upside. This is going to be like a narrow face, something like this. Five millimeter, and make sure these are tangent faces. Tangent, make sure tangent because this is mentioned in drawing. Put here some circle and this circle diameter 14 and this is going from here to here also 14. Okay. Still, this is not going to be defined, so let us continue. 19, now these vertical lines 29, see. And this point from here, it is going to be 19 millimeter. Look, our drawing almost fully defined. Sketch chamfer. Now, first is 7 by 45. So, choose here angle distance 7, 45, and I am going to choose these two ends. Okay. See? And the last sketch chamfer angle distance 5 by 45. So, I am going to choose these end. Okay. Now, our drawing is fully defined. So, simply exit, activate here extrude feature and I am keep going to keep end condition mid plane so that it will help us to create things. Now, this is going to be put here global variable C, apply, look. Now, right click edit material and here you will find option ASI 1020 if you see unit matrix and this is the our mass density 0079 kg per apply, close. Even if you check by evaluate mass properties, see, this is 939, it is already mentioned on those bo books. See, this is the 939.54. This is going to be the mass of this. I am going to apply some. Now, let us move forward. Part tool block step 2. Modify the parts. Everything same. Here, we have to modify equations and uh, here it is written what is the overall mass of part in grams. So, we have to find out. This is the part modeling and these are the few things we have to cut. There is the one a small cutout. See the dimension. At bottom also there is cut out 19 millimeter and 52 millimeter. See here cut out and if it comes down here also cut out. So, these cut outs and at center there is one cut out 24 after 12 millimeter this 24 millimeter cut out and these are looks like this 41, 36 from distance from here to here. Now, here we have to add a hole 11 dia 14 by 14 distance throughout hole. So, let us apply first equations, then we will do the changes. Now, here right click on equation, 
we already saved this one manage equations now here going to edit 84 press tab key Eighty nine, forty five. Say okay. Look, this is changed. A sketch, line tool, connect. Now let us do few relations, select both the line and leave shift key, you will see this pop up option collinear. Similarly for this, bottom line collinear and here these vertical lines collinear. So you do not need to define too much dimensions, only activate smart dimension 52 millimeter. Activate here extruded cut feature and see this is moving perfect direction. We want to cut this shape and the depth only 19 millimeter. Look, select this face sketch. Now here we have to apply a hole. Activate circle tool, smart dimension and the diameter is 11 millimeter. Now vertical and horizontal distance is 14 millimeter. Simply go to feature activate extruded cut feature and here keep end condition through all. Say yes. Look. Now let us select back surface sketch. Now I will again flip. Now here I am going to choose 3 point not 3 point center point arc. Click somewhere here start arc from this arc to this line. Exit. Now let us create few relations. Hold shift key, select the point and this line coincide, activate smart dimension 41 millimeter and distance from here to end of this arc 36 millimeter. Look this is fully defined but we want a close sketch in this scenario. So hold shift key, select outer edges and click on convert entities. Look, we have a close profile, but there is some unwanted line, trim entity, power trim, just press left mouse and drag. Okay. Now we have a close geometry. Extrude cut. Now here start from offset and the start gap is 12 millimeter. You will reverse. You will see in drawing, this is the, this gap is going to be 12 millimeter. Depth, 24 millimeter, the center distance, this depth. Say yes. Now look. Let me save. Right click material, I think already applied, but again 0079 close. If you check mass properties, 651.34 gram is the mass of this body. Now these all finish. Let us move part, modify the part in SOLIDWORKS, block 3, step 3. Here everything same. Equation we have to change, 86, 58, 44. Mass you have to find out in grams. And here the things, 1 millimeter typical distance. Now you will see the depth going to be 12 millimeter up to here and you have to find out. So simply right click on equation, manage equations. Now let us simply change the dimensions 86, press tab key and 58 tab key. If you press enter, it, you will be out of this. So press 44, tab key, say OK. It is changed. See? Shell. 1 millimeter, I will choose this face. Show preview. 
now look it's going to shell all the things we don't want this i'll select the multi thickness setting and i'll choose back surface now look if i'm going to choose let's say 12 it is going to cover all so we don't want to shell this portion so simply i'll choose 25 why because 25 is the only distance from this face to this end is 25 so you will see it's created up to this end or this face if you check this line see at bottom length for 25 let me click on face sketch convert entity activate extrude cut we want to cut this end condition simply place up to surface and apply on this surface look it's trimmed now select inside one sketch convert entity you don't need to draw everything extrude cut now here we have to choose up to surface because there is a 12 millimeter gap so i'll choose this because this is this gap is 12 millimeter you will see the preview in yellow see this is going to cut and there is a thickness one millimeter say okay section view look see this one millimeter is going to be keep i hope you like it don't forget to share like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.